It's day three, guys, of the whole week of Steven Universe episodes, which I will still be reviewing them. So let's get this going in three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> Hey, what is going on, guys? It's me, Junior here, and welcome to day three of Steven Universe episodes that I'll be doing for the reviewing for the whole week. And thank you for all the support on this series; it's been amazing. And if you want me to keep on going for day four and five, make sure you slap that like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will keep this going. So, yeah. So the first. For this third day and third episode of a whole week of Steven Universe episodes, it's called Keeping It Together. Which which starts off as any other day, which they, the Gems and Steven are folding up laundry and stuff. And it seems like Pearl is doing the best one. And then they were talking about, about finding Peridot. They found her ship already, but they haven't found her. So that's why they should... Do it together, which they are a team, and they're folding laundry and saying that they should do it together because Amethyst wasn't doing anything. So they revisit the kindergarten, which was first appeared in On the Run, and they came back from they, they returned in Robot in Marble Madness, and it's pretty much a site where bad gems are created, and they and they find. Peridot, actually Steven finds Peridot in a hole rebuilding itself like she's traveling down from the ground and evaluating until per until the gems attack and Peridot tries to escape while Amethyst and Pearl tries to get them get her and Steven and Garnet goes down where per, goes down to the hole where Peridot is was rising above, and she and they find her old base, which they destroyed in Marble Madness. And so, they find something beneath the ground, which is two hands stuck together, which is two, which is two gems stuck together, trying to make a fusion. And why Garnet is so great is because she is a fusion. She is a fusion herself, but she is terrified. Of all the stuff happening, so, which Stephen wondering what's wrong with her, and then she talks saying this is wrong, wrong and stuff, and what, and she was almost about to break into Ruby and Sapphire, which it it appears that way, but Stephen can talk out of it and Garnet. Doesn't and they don't split up or anything. They just they're keeping it together as the title of the episode infers. So so she defeats all the people and all the gems are returned to normal. All the four gems that are stuck together return to with their original form and Garnet bubbles them and send them off. And she's said Homeworld is about to do this. But it didn't seem guarded at all. It was Ruby and Sapphire talking to each other. And then Garnet returned. And Garnet's voice came back. And Steven. Um, question, questions. And Pearl and Amethyst came back. Saying they didn't catch. Didn't catch Peridot. And. Sorry for that silence. So. Tell them that they didn't find it. And she finds though, that thing. And Garnet yells to put it down and stuff. And so, we go back to the temple where Stephen gets to the close. But Garnet's already there and saying that it's too damn... And she talks about why... And actually, Stephen asks Garnet, what's it like to be a fusion? And, ev like, every day. And she said, just... It's hard to keep... St keep them together and why Garnet is who she is so she can be Garnet every day and Steven Sock tries to go away and 
she's and then Scarney catches her saying, wouldn't want to miss a pair. And she said they belong together, and she puts them in the hamper and in the basket, and the episode ends. So my review on this episode is it was a great episode relying on Ruby and Sapphire and how Garnet ish who she is. She's she's a great character in my opinion, but there's more. I need to know more about this. But keeping it together was a great episode. Lots of fun to watch, but a little bit serious at that time. So I give this a nice 8.5 for its brilliant episode. Sworn to the Sword was... I think Sworn to the Sword was better, but not rating-wise, because keeping it together was a lot better, in my opinion. So, yeah, guys, so I give it an 8.5. This episode was great. Yeah. So that is basically it, guys. So if you like the review and the commentary, make sure you slap that like button and comment down below which episode do you like now, Sworn to the Sword, Rising Tides, Crashing Skies, or Keeping It Together. But I wouldn't, I would say that, but yeah. Or you want to see the next two episodes and see what happens next, and maybe you'll answer my question in later days. But still, if you like the review and the commentary, make sure you slap that like button and comment down below favorite episode or favorite scene of a character or anything you like. I'll make this video for the whole week because it's new episodes all week and I will be still reviewing them so thank you all for watching. Miss slap that like button and I would really like to enjoy subscribe, share, anything you like. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!